Wham, bam, Tesla cam. I hope you're satisfied. The next video shows a severe traffic collision. Viewer discretion is advised. This is what's left of Nancy's Model 3 after he was involved in the accident we're about to watch. Get back up, please. All the Tesla's passengers walked away from the accident and the police said they were surprised that the cabin was basically untouched. Yancey was merging to the left lane when his friend in the passenger seat yelled, watch out. He said there wasn't much he could do as they were going about 65 miles per hour. All he could do was slam on the brakes and hold onto the wheel firmly. He closed his eyes and braced for impact. Let's take a closer look at what caused the accident in the first place. The Dodge Charger seemed to have been speeding onto the highway and hit this small concrete separator on his left. In response, he swerved towards the right, hitting the rail and losing control, hurtling towards traffic. The Dodge Charger driver had to be taken to the hospital. Yancey had to go through his own insurance since the other driver wasn't covered at the time of the accident. The Tesla was a total loss and the insurance company told him that there was no way the car was going to be repaired. Yancey added that he plans on buying a new Tesla eventually since it saved his life and those of his friends that night. Dave was driving his Model 3 when traffic slowed down in front of him on this single lane road with concrete barriers on each side. Noticing something was happening in the rearview mirror, Dave acted quickly, doing his best to get out of the way given the small amount of space available. He says that he doesn't know what caused this, but the lady had a shocked look on her face after smashing into the vehicles. Dave added, he won't be taking that road anymore. It's not worth the risk of being involved in an accident while stuck between two barriers with no escape route. Christopher was driving his Model 3 south on I-75 in downtown Atlanta when he noticed this SUV that missed the exit to I-85 North. Apparently the driver thought he could make it anyway. The Fiat 500 in the left lane had no chance to stop, which resulted in a massive crash. This clip really shows the importance of thinking ahead while driving. This next video is from the YouTube channel California Road Cam, which is a great channel from the owner of a 2017 Model S in California where he spends around 70 to 90 hours in rush hour traffic each month. That means lots of opportunities for spectacular Tesla cam footage. In this video, he was driving north on Highway 99 in South Sacramento when he noticed traffic stopping up ahead. One driver wasn't paying attention and didn't have enough follow distance to allow them to stop in time. This resulted in a three-vehicle collision. Raymond was driving his Model 3 on the highway in Pinole, California in December of 2019 when this happened. This guy not only rear-ended Raymond, which was definitely his fault, he then made a U-turn on the freeway and took an exit. It's now a hit and run. Raymond filed a police report and showed them the footage, but the Toyota had no license plates, so the police have no leads. Raymond never heard back from the police and the driver has never been caught. For this next story, we'll need some action movie music. Cue up the rock and roll. Much better. Brian contacted us with this video and we've got to say it's one of the most spectacular stories in this video series so far. So buckle up, here we go.
Brian was driving his Model 3 on I-35 in Austin, Texas, when this white pickup truck passed him at high speed in poor weather conditions. Instinctively, he pressed the save video button as he thought to himself, this guy is probably going to end up in a crash, and if he does, I'll have the footage ready. The same truck then passed him four times in the span of 20 miles. Brian never left the highway, so he figured something must be wrong. Each time the truck driver passed, he was driving recklessly and barely avoiding accidents. In the end, we can see he accelerated into stopped traffic, rear-ending an SUV. When a Williamson County Sheriff's deputy took a look into the pickup, he said, I can't touch this, and proceeded to call the Texas State Police who showed up within minutes. It turns out that the pickup driver had a huge quantity of drugs, including meth, ecstasy, and marijuana right in plain view on the passenger seat. The reason for the four passes? He was a dealer making drop-offs to his customers along the highway. Michael was driving his Model 3 on 101 northbound in California when he noticed this Jeep in the mirror frantically trying to aggressively overtake him. As Michael changed lanes, the Jeep started merging into the same lane and ultimately ended up ramming his Tesla. If we look at it from the front camera, we can see that Michael isn't camping in the left lane or doing anything else that could provoke the other driver into doing this. The Jeep took off and left the scene of the accident. Michael contacted the California Highway Patrol and sent them the video to prove there was contact. CHP contacted the driver and he still denied hitting anyone. Dreeb was driving his Model 3 on I-25 in Wyoming, going south in the slow lane. Autopilot was on, and the speed was set to about 85 miles per hour. A line of cars was passing him, as we can see from his left side camera. Watch this last truck in the line of cars passing him. The truck blew its tire just as it was passing and swerved toward the Tesla. Dreeb says Autopilot took evasive action, speeding up and moving away before he even got his hands on the wheel. The truck spun off the road and crashed softly into the embankment. This next clip was sent in from a submitter who was driving his Model 3 in Revere, Massachusetts when this happened. The accident became a hit and run when the white explorer fled west on Revere Beach Parkway after hopping the median. Massachusetts State Police watched the Tesla cam video and identified the vehicle and its owner. The submitter wants to thank the Massachusetts State Police, as well as the two Good Samaritans who pulled over to check on him, and finally the extra space storage employee who came out to check on him and offered security footage of the incident. The submitter filed an insurance claim with his own insurance company and was able to give them the insurance information associated with the vehicle that hit him. The damage was too extensive for the Tesla Service Center to repair, and the final repair estimate is still to be determined. Raymond was driving his Model 3 in St. Louis, Missouri. He was following this Mustang who entered the left turn lane as Raymond remained in the straight lane. But the Mustang didn't take a left turn. Instead, he tried to go straight. Raymond saw what was happening and tried to give as much space as he could without hitting the car to the right of him. The Mustang driver quickly swerved away and Raymond thought they avoided contact. However, when he pulled over, he discovered damage to his car. He sent the video to his insurance company and he added that this is his first accident ever. He's so glad he had the Tesla cam footage to help him sort it out. This next video is also from Raymond. It shows how two cars crashed when they slowed down for a trailer that was having technical issues on the shoulder. Raymond says he didn't stop to offer any footage as he didn't actually witness the crash, only the moment right after it. This video happened last Valentine's Day. Bill was driving his Model 3 in McLean, Virginia when this Chevy crossed into his lane and hit him at this intersection.
Bill instinctively got out and took pictures of the car that hit him. When he got back in his car, the other driver took off, leaving the scene. Bill contacted the police who found the driver down the road, only he told them that Bill had hit him and that Bill had fled the scene. Bill tried to show the police the video, but they said they couldn't accept flash drives as they might contain viruses. When he got home, he uploaded the video and sent it to both insurance companies. The other driver had already told both companies that Bill had hit him. Later, Bill received an apology letter from his insurance company and the other driver's insurance company, who paid for the repairs and his rental car for 36 days. The repairs ended up costing about $15,000. This next video is from Doug, who was driving his Model 3 on the on-ramp to I-95 near the South Carolina and Georgia border in August of 2019. This video really illustrates the danger of driving too slowly. As Doug was about to enter the highway, the car in front of him on the on-ramp slowed almost to a stop, instead of accelerating and merging into traffic. This resulted in the cars behind them pulling out onto the highway in an attempt to go around them. This slowed down everyone on the highway, and the truck pulling a trailer must not have seen the mayhem. It swerved onto the median, causing a total loss of control followed by a rollover. According to news reports, the highway was shut down for two hours, but fortunately, there were no deaths reported. Corbin was driving his kids to school in their Model 3 when they witnessed this bicycle crash after it was cut off by a distracted driver. Corbin says the cyclist looked mildly injured but was able to keep going after the incident. He shared the video with the police but didn't hear back. Corbin also tried to find the cyclist after, but he was nowhere to be found. Are you a Tesla owner with a Tesla cam or sentry mode video you want to share with us? Please send the video together with a description of what happened via the link in the description below. Oh Lord, won't you buy me a Cybertruck? My friends out drive diesel, I must make amends.